Hai, Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cik Godila and today we will learn about constellation. This is topic for Science Year 5, Unit 9. Constellations A constellation is a group of stars which appears to form a certain pattern in the sky that can be seen at night. So now let's see. This is example of constellation. We have Big Dipper. The Big Dipper constellations can be observed at the Northern Hemisphere. The Big Dipper can be seen at the Northern Hemisphere between April and June around 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. We also have the Southern Cross. The Southern Cross constellations can be observed at the Southern Hemisphere. So, this one can be seen at the Southern Hemisphere between April and June around 8 to 10 p.m. Next, we have Orion. So, the Orion constellations can be observed between, oh, that's me, it's in the middle, okay? So, between the Northern and Southern Hemisphere. The Orion can be seen between December and February around 8 to 10 p.m. Next, we have the Scorpion. The Scorpion constellations can be observed at the Southern Hemisphere. This one can be seen between June and August around 8 to 10 p.m. Next, let's see one by one all the constellations that we seen previously. So the first one, we have the Big Dipper. This is the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper constellations comprises a group of seven stars. The constellations appears to form a pattern of a water dipper or a scoop. So we have this one. Actually, the Big Dipper is a part of the Ursa Major or the Great Bear constellation. This is the Great Bear constellation. Next, we have the Orion. So this is the Orion constellation. The Orion constellation appears to form a pattern of a hunter wearing a belt and holding a weapon. That is the Orion. We also have the Southern Cross. Ah, that's a kite. So, the Southern Cross is the smallest constellation. This constellation comprises a group of four stars that appears to form a pattern of a kite. Next, the last one, we have the Scorpion. This is a Scorpion. So, based on the name, it's related to a Scorpion. The Scorpion constellation comprises a group of stars that appear to form a pattern of a Scorpion. So now let's move to the uses of the constellation. So the first one is to show direction. Travelers and sailors use the constellations as a compass to determine their direction. For example, like this one, we have Big Dipper. It's pointing to the north. The Big Dipper constellations always point to the north. Meanwhile, we have this one. It's a Southern Cross pointing to the south. So the Southern Cross constellations always point to the south. That is the first uses of constellations. Now let's move to the second one. To indicate seasons. Before the calendar was invented, the farmer in the area with four seasons in the northern hemisphere looked at the constellations to identify certain season. The constellations help them to plan the time for planting and harvesting crops. For example, at this one we have a Big Dipper. The Big Dipper constellations was used to indicate the start of planting season. We have the Orion. The Orion constellations was used to indicate the start of winter. Meanwhile, we have the Scorpion. The scorpion constellations was used to indicate the start of harvesting season. Okay, I think that's it for our lessons today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for listening. You can scan this QR code for an extra exercise. Thank you for listening. Bye.